This week we're talking about labels in the community. To explain what exactly what I mean by labels in the community, I mean people who label themselves and also people who label others in the community or have predisposed notions of the particular label that the person has either given themselves or that the community has given them. Mainly it's, um, let me explain. I consider myself a Wiccan witch. The reason I say a Wiccan witch is because for me it's the most neutral of the words of the labels that we give each other. Mainly because with saying that I'm Wiccan, it lets you know that I see witchcraft as a religion and that I do worship the god and the goddess. As well, you can if you if you you know if you if you think about it, it also means that I I'm open to different denominations. So for instance, at the moment, I am a soul practitioner and I don't have a particular form or a denomination, I guess you could say, or tradition. I have been initiated into a tradition, uh, but I don't currently practice it. So I practice my own, my, own little, my own thing that I've developed for myself as a soul practitioner. But there are other denominations so it's like there's there's Garnerian, there's Blue Star, there's Georgian, there's Alexandrian, and there's many many more that I cannot uh, think right off the top of my head uh, that exist in Wicca. So right there, by me saying that I'm a Wiccan, I'm opening myself up to saying, hey, you know, I could be any one of these, or I could be none of these. Uh, I could be any one of these. So it's it's it's, it's Opening myself up to having a broad, uh, for people to have a broad perspective, okay? And also to understand that I see witchcraft as a religion, so I do worship the god and the goddess. And I have that, that connection. And then I say witch because not all Wiccans are witches, and, not witch, and all witches are Wiccans. So hence, witchcraft, I'm a witch. So right there, you know that I cast spells and that I do magic. Now in that process, um, again, since I say that I'm a witch, there's different ways to practice witchcraft. There's different types of magic that you can do. And that also gives me a broad, um, it gives the person that I tell that to a broad perspective of, you know, I could be practicing just about anything uh, when it comes to witchcraft, okay? So there's, you know, like there's high magic, there's um, herbal magic, uh, just magic in general. You can, it's whatever method you use. So it opens you up to a broader perspective. That's how I label myself because I don't want to label myself and put myself in this tiny little box of this is all I know, I know nothing else. Or this is what I specialize, I'm not good at anything else. And I don't want to put myself in that position for two reasons. Uh, two reasons that I can think of. One, take what I like from whatever it is that I like it. And I kind of mish, mish, match it and make it into my own. And because of that, I don't want to bog myself down to saying that I'm just one particular type of path. Um, because it's my own path and I can design it the way that I want to. So that's one of the reasons why I do that. Um, the other reason is because some people in the community have this predisposed notion of certain different types of denominations in, or traditions in the pagan community, um, or the traditions in, in the sense of like different types of practices different types of religions and different types of magical uh, uses or magic paths because you know if you look at certain uh, different types some of them have that ooh, <laughs> ooh, don't mess with her or don't mess with him and then there's some other that are like oh you know they're like you know they're like nothing they're like fluffy bunnies and that's another label that I don't like uh, because I don't want that 
thing like going like, oh no no, but then then you're this, not this. And I'm like, no, you don't you don't have the right to label me here. I label myself and I choose this. I understand the meaning, the, the purpose for labels. I understand it. But I don't like the I guess the stereotype and or the presupposed notion of what certain labels mean to certain people. Um, and that's why I try to, when I do meet somebody and the conversation goes to, you know, what do you practice or, you know, what are you? And they say a certain thing, I try not to, I try not to automatically assume that they are what that stereotype for that label is. So for instance, I've met, um, a while ago actually, I met this woman who was a, oh, for the love of God, a Dianic. She's Dianic. And I was like, oh, you're Dianic. And the first thing that came to my mind was, uh, feminazis, or, or full-fledged, like, hardcore, you know, stereotype, uh, feminists. And I was like, well, this is going to be an interesting conversation. And I was straight up with her. I was like, you know, like, I've always... Not always, but I've heard, you know, these are the stereotypes that I've heard of, uh, of, of this particular path. You know, how do you feel about that? Like, what, how do you react to this? And she was like, you know, people are going to get the wrong impression always. And yeah, there are some of us that are zealots, that are zealots on, on, on this. But not all of us are. A lot of us are feminists, but we are not crazy mother fudgers that, you know, hate men and want to cut off their penises, you know, <laughs> they, they, they're not like that. They're, they said, she was like, oh no, we, we just like the feminine body. We like the, the, the feminine power that is within us and that scares people. And sometimes when you get a little too excited, um, people are going to get the wrong impression. And it makes perfect sense. I mean, I, I agreed with her. That's why I didn't automatically assume that she was that. I knew that that's the first thing that came to my mind, but I spoke to her about it and I wanted her opinion because that's how you learn, guys. That is how you learn. Mind you, I asked that question and I met her like over 10 years ago. So I was very fresh right out of, you know, um, <clears throat> right out of watching Charmed and, you know, the craft and all that stuff so that was like I was like wow I heard <laughs> but it was an interesting conversation and we became friends now in that sense you have to you you feel like you understand at that point that you know people are going to give you that label they're going to see you that way but as long as you're comfortable with your own label I think I'm, I'm fine in that sense because I understand labels are necessary because you need to understand what people are and how you represent yourself but at the same time it's you have to be comfortable enough to withstand the stereotype because there's always going to be a stereotype to every label uh, but yeah that is my opinion on the subject guys um, I just wanted to talk about that subject um, I did it before I spoke about it a couple years ago I removed the video because it was just horrible looking, uh, the video quality was not great, um, so I decided to do it over. I hope you enjoyed the video, um, but before I leave, I want to ask you guys to do me a favor, and um, I really want to know this, and that is, what's your opinion on labels, especially in the community, and not just what you label yourself as a, um, as your path, but also labels as in... Uh, people who call each other fluffy bunny and other not so favorable things um, And how does that make you feel? I, I want to know your opinion uh, Other than that guys Much love and blessings